everybody. It's just Keely popping in today. I have been meaning to do this Facebook Live for the last week and have just not had a chance to get in here and get it done. Other Facebook Lives took precedence and then the weekend came and I wasn't able to get in here and show you guys what I did with the Sweet Safari layout, the workshop. Okay, so there's two different options. You have the workshop layout kit where it has page protectors and the one without. I did it without the page protectors because I already have a bunch um, on hand at home. So I absolutely loved this workshop kit. Love, love, loved, right? My kids are 15 and 12. I still have baby photos that need to be scrapbooked. I still have friends that have baby photos that need to be scrapbooked. So if I wasn't going to use it all, uh, somebody would. <laughs> and so I definitely wanted to put this together. Um, I followed the workshop guide almost to a T. Um, to begin with, I cut everything out just like the instructions tell you to, just like the uh, guide that comes with it tells you to. So I also did all of the things that you were supposed to use to distress it and the extra embellishment this time and the technique was to use the gloss sprays. So that's what these two items right here are. This is the turquoise gloss spray and this is the cheddar gloss spray. And when I go through the layouts, I'll show you um, what I did with those and how I use them. And they are so much fun and bring your layout, you know, just give it a little extra pop. They are definitely messy, however, though. Guys, just so you know, these are permanent. If you can get it wiped off right away, you're good to go. But um, if you let it sit for more than probably 10 seconds or more, it's going to start to already um, get into or stain your clothes, stain your desk, right? So I used the all-purpose mat underneath when I was doing it. Made sure I had baby wipes on hand to wipe my hands off. Um, and to wipe the dust off around the area when I sprayed it. Uh, what I wanted to show you today, this too, this is all that was left from the kit. So there was a few extra pieces that were left that I ended up, again, I used some flip flaps in my kit, but this is all that was left. There was like a zip strip, and then this is part of a um, exclusive paper. So this dot paper was not included in the regular Sweet Safari kit. It was an exclu or sorry, Sweet Safari paper pack. It was exclusive paper that was included in the workshop guide only. So let's get started and let me show you what I did with it. So one side, I love this paper, this side of it too, and I didn't end up getting to use that um, as part of my layouts, um, but because I liked the other side and that's how it was done. So here is the first layout. And again, there's going to be some shine on there from the page protectors because there are flip flops. Well, there aren't any flip flaps on this first double page, but in the last two, I do have flip flaps that I use. I'm going to, I'll bring it up closer to my phone, to the camera so that you can see the things that we did doing it. So this is super cute because it says sweet dreams and then it says cute is a button over here and then explore together. So the one side of the paper is the cute little clouds, right? The other side is this fun pattern paper that has all the animals. It has the tiger and it has the monkeys and it has the elephant and the little um, lagoon giraffe back there. So this was just a zip strip. We cut that off, put that at the top. Things that I changed up. So if you look at the workshop kit itself, it does not have these two photos right here. You see more of this pattern paper and to me, it was super busy looking when you had all of that pattern here and then all the pattern here. I love circles. Circles are my, like, I love circles in jewelry. I love circles in crafting. So that made me happy to see all the fun circle things. But if you look at the layout, technically there would have only been these two photos. And on this side, there would have been these three photos. And so what we did is I used, um, I think... I'd have to look at what I wrote down. It's like four and a half or four by 12 piece of the sapphire glitter paper right there. Can you see that is underneath there just to give it a little bit more look to it. I did not attach the circles down to the bottom or these leaves. There's foam tape underneath, but so then I can slide my photos on underneath there. I did add foam tape behind the sweet dreams. Um, I added foam tape behind the tips of the leaves, but the bottom part is taped completely down. Now, do you see where gloss spray was used, guys? There's two different pieces right there. So we used the aqua gloss spray on this green avocado um, journaling spot. So you just hold, you shake it up good, and it's got a little, it's got a ball in there. So you shake it up good, and you hold it six inches or so above, and you just spray. And so it leaves like fun 
splotches, right? If you, this wasn't in the page protector, I don't know if I can, if you'll be able to see it or not on the camera, but it is glossy, it's, hence it's called gloss spray. So this, the the Lagoon piece is there, there, I saw a little bit of it. I'm trying to look in my, um, on my laptop there. You can see that that's glossy. And then the same right here, we used the cheddar. So we used the cheddar gloss spray on the leaves. And so it makes it look like they're wet. So those darker yellow pieces on there. And then again, I love the, the embellishment that was part of Sweet Safari is those puffy stickers. So the fun puffy stickers used here is the giraffe and then this heart and this little star right here. Again, this is a sticker and the sticker sheet, the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes with the Sweet Safari, those have glossy accents to them. So they have a UV coating. So this leaf here, this side, the dark pieces of the leaf have a gloss to them. Um, the same on the Lagoon, the dark pieces have a glossy look to them. And then as well as the star, anything dark yellow and then on the outsides here. So I loved, oh, and then this, oh, there was three pieces. So the, the avocado, oh, there's actually four on this one. <laughs> the avocado and then these two blue pieces have the gloss spray on there. Can you see that without the page protector being too glary? So then these are stickers. Anything else over here was a sticker and just use foam tape. On this side, as soon as I saw these circles, I just knew I wanted to use a shaker element on the cards. Whether If I did it over here, then there was only going to be one picture. And then by adding here, at least there would be three. Over here, there would have been the two, and then I could make one. And then, so again, I added the, the glitter paper underneath um, this these circles. So what I did is I turned my circle into... A shaker card and so the elements that are inside so I use the gloss spray I sprayed the yellow piece underneath so there is yellow dots and stuff under there but then these little they're not gems they're I don't even know what you want to call them they're not sequins these are not sold by close to my heart it was just stuff that was from my stash that I have had in there for years and years and years and then I added a puffy sticker here oh something else I did along all of the brown so on both pages I forgot to tell you I just used the clear shimmer brush on it so that it gave it a little bit extra shimmery look to it and then again we used these two gloss sprays so the turquoise and the cheddar the turquoise is used on the blue ones here these three blue and then the um and the um avocado piece the journaling piece right there so you, all these splotches i love it love how it turned out are used there and then on the leaves again is where the cheddar gloss spray was then used. So this was a sticker and you have some puffy stickers. So we have the cute little monkey and the little happy arrow and the little toucan. So those were, and then the, the sun. So those are th the puffy stickers. And then this, the um, tiger, this star, this star, the sticker here, um, and this were all from the sticker sheet and I just used 3D foam tape, okay? Lots of fun, gave you a little bit more, a few more places to add photos on these couple layouts and with little kids it, you always have tons of photos right so then the next layout this one was created and if you look in the workshop guide this page looks very similar to it right you have the the polka dot paper on the side but had it been one full page this polka dot this was all you were going to see of that polka dot paper otherwise the rest of it covered it up so what i did is i used an eight and a half by eleven flip flap and so we just cut the two inches off on the sides and then a little strip of the polka dot paper, a half inch on each side there. And this blue scallop paper or scallop sticker then was cut. I have added it onto here and added the two inches and then just cut it so that I could add it to my flip flap. Again, the gloss spray was used. So all these um, lagoon colors, the turquoise, was used on this page. Underneath here, which is really cool, this was a cutout. So this eight and a half by 11 piece is a punch out. And then you punched out the letters let's and the day. And th those were just garbage, you didn't use those. But then you just sprayed directly onto this white piece and then the play is stickers and the um, a rainbow is stickers as well as the cloud. This was a punch out, these were punch outs and I just popped them up with 3D foam tape. 3D foam tape, these were stickers over here. Um, something that's different, I'm, and I'm trying to remember, on the layout, I think there was two 
of these three by four pictures right next to each other. I changed that up and I made it only one. I added a flip flap, a three by four flip flap right here, and I put the puffy sticker on the outside of the flip flap. So usually my embellishments and everything are, are tucked inside, you're not touching them. But this cute little um, rainbow is now on the outside. So if you flip this over, it's a three by four, and there is, and then I backed it with um, the blue sapphire paper cards or the glitter paper, the sapphire glitter paper. So to tie in over here, then I used a little piece and uh, put it behind this sticker and used that as the sapphire glitter paper behind there. So when you open this up, I'm just going to slide it over. This is an eight and a half or this is an eight by 12 flip flap. Okay. So this piece that is missing here, those two inches of that polka dot paper then is the back base for this left page. So you can have room for two, four more photos here. These are uh, the blue and the green little puffy stickers, the hearts, and then this puffy sticker, it says too cute. And then there, this is how, so this is kind of how the layout would have, these were additional pictures, right? These wouldn't have been here otherwise because this would have been covering that up. So to tie everything in again, there's a little bit of the sapphire glitter paper and then um, love your face is a puffy sticker. And then this was part of a zip strip. And then that was a sticker that I just popped up with a little bit of foam tape. So that is the left side then of that, that layout. The right side did the same thing, did the same thing with the two inches of the polka dot, but kept that, that center part of the polka dot paper, because then when you open it up now, this one, so this one opened this way, this one's going to open this direction. So it's very similar. So what was added here was just two sheets of Lagoon cardstock to be the backdrop pages. Okay. And then I added sapphire paper. But if you guys are wanting to recreate it just like this, let me know because I can post the dimensions on what I did. Otherwise, all the paper itself, all of the pieces of paper for the kit, other than what was added to it, were cut right to the same dimensions as the workshop kit tells you to do. So when you open this one up, then you have a little, um, oh, you can't see that on this side. Hang on. When you open this one up, you have a little um, red star and a blue star. Those are puffy stickers. This was one of the regular stickers. It's uh, got the UV coating on it from the paper, uh, from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes with the paper pack. And then this was a punch out, the ABCs. This was part of the zip strip, just like on the other page. And these are puffy stickers from that puffy sticker section. Again, using the glitter paper. Love it. There's just a little bit of it to it. There's blue. And I know I have a friend, um, Jill Boyd, if you're watching at all, you can totally use glitter paper on boy pages. This is just so you don't have to use a ton of it, but it's just a little bit that adds a little bit of bling. It's not girly. It's just adding some dark blue to it. All right. So that is what this one looks like on this side. Then you have the train. And when you look at the directions on how this side was put together, again, this was a punch out the eight or this eight and a half by 11 sheet comes with the kit. And again, you sprayed it with the gloss spray up at the top and down here at the center. So then I ended up changing the rotation of how my photos were going to work on here, just because knowing that it was going to be an eight and a half, 11, eight and a half by 11 and opening up. So I just changed instead of doing horizontal or however they were shown on the workshop guide. And then I added the cute little choo-choo train. Okay. That is part of that page. These were not being used. I, so I made sure I used all of my, all of the puffy stickers because I absolutely loved them and didn't want any of them left over. So I just found places on my layouts because they weren't all being used in the um, workshop kit. The last page then is the adventure page. And I think this one might be my, I love them all. I couldn't wait to show you guys because I just love them all. This page was fun. The technique on here is these are all separate little, um, these aren't zip strips. What are these? Chevrons. Okay. So you attach that you, they're all pop-ups. You popped them all out. And then this light green one here and this yellow one here, you popped out and then you used the cheddar gloss spray and spritzed them on both pages. And then you took your scissors and I'm going to bring this up to so you can see it. You took your scissors and then you just chopped half halfway up into the zip strips so that it makes it look like a fringe. So this on the yellow and then on the green here, these are all, and I'll turn it this way, maybe you can see better. They're all fringed. And then I just used um, and rolled them up a little bit. So on this page, Adventure here is a sticker and I use 3D foam tape. These two little sprigs are 3D foam, use stickers with 3D foam tape and they have the UV coating. And then this aqua one, lagoon one here and the, and the avocado one here, those are 3D, or those are the puffy stickers as well as the sweet little arrow. 
and again with the star that's a foam tape one or a puffy sticker then so is the wild about you but these were stickers here and I had used the anti-static pouch so that it wouldn't stick here so that we can kind of you can lift that up and stick the photo underneath cute little toucan is a sticker with the UV coating this one right here is a puffy and that's a puffy what's cool on this page these are um, flip flaps and I have never done this before on with my flip flaps so this was a fun first for me and this is an accordion style flip flap so I attached a couple of them together see how that works so you have your four by six you put a four by six four by six but then when you turn it this way you can have a four by six on that side and a four by six there so you have two on this side and then you have three on this side so you have room for five four by sixes in this little stack and they're it's fun because they're you know they're already covered so you don't have to worry about anything happening to them um, to your photos but they're an they're an interactive element on your page then moving on to the right side here again there is a flip flap in here so instead of the cute little four by six um, accordion fold flip flap style this one is using a six by twelve so on the last layout I used two eight by twelves this one is four by oh, two eight by twelves and the one had a three by four this one has four by sixes and this one is a six by twelve on the side so this was laid out the exact same way it is in the directions in having the four by fours in this place right here this was a sticker this cute little crocodile or alligator and then these are um, the puffy stickers and that was a sticker I added with 3d foam tape just to get a little yellow in there um, and to do my cute little cluster who doesn't love a sloth can you see up oh, when I'm looking at my laptop you can see that it was in the shiny so it was such a cute such a cute little sloth okay so this is a big sticker he was a sticker I added the puffy stuff so these were not being used again these two here weren't being used on layouts but I was like I am using them all up I am finding a place a home for them all so I added that then this one's a foam or a puffy and that's a puffy here's a puffy over here it's a puffy here on the journaling section okay and again you got your little fringes and your cheddar gloss spray going on so to make this one work it is a, a 6 by 12 so this one will open up this direction and I'm just going to move this over so you can see the full thing on camera so when you open this up it goes this direction and the, the background on this one we added an avocado cardstock base so that I could cut that then because um, this would have been the regular base was the palm leaves so we added the avocado on the back so that it this is stuck directly to that then this was the zip strips were extra right they weren't being used so I use that here this um, oh what color is this eh, I want to say cocoa but that's the retired color brain farting on that one but used that here and then this was a sticker that was not being used on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet so I just added there added that on there and then these are puffy stickers so you have your X's and O's and then you have three of the stars and then this section right here is dark green and it's this that's the stripes which was the p portions from right here too so I used you know these pieces were extra after you cut down your kit so I added those pieces in there which helped me make my flip flap okay so that's why there is really nothing left to this kit because even the little teeny tiny pieces I ended up using those on the flip flaps so all the additional stuff that was added was this piece of avocado cardstock obviously your flip flap um I'm trying to remember I think this is just the regular yeah that was just the regular pattern paper so the um and then you know adding your flip flaps on here and then adding the lagoon two lagoon bases for these two okay so much fun I had so much fun putting this together because flip flaps make me happy and so do shaker elements and I was able to combine both of those into a fun vibrant set of layouts if you guys have any questions on anything on how this was done how we did the shakers how the glass sprays were used I love these I have almost all of them these are hard to keep in stock as soon as they come in you guys they go back out people are buying these um and because of course it's a, a ranger project product we are having a hard time keeping the ranger products in stock because everybody wants them but they come from over in china so we have to wait and we get a small stock of it and then we sell it out and then we get a little bit more stock of it and then we sell it out so i have these two and then i had um like the green one and like a magenta color one and a bright blue one but i'm still waiting on like the really dark one that kind of reminds me of midnight or night skies so super fun pages 
Any questions, let me know. This kit is actually still available. They did not sell out of the Sweet Safari workshop, scrapbooking workshop. So it is still available on our websites. If you were not able to um, place an order for it back in January and February from that catalog, it's still available in the online section only on my website. Any questions, feel free to post them down below or send me a private message. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Stay safe, stay happy, and keep crafting.